Hello everyone and welcome to this next video in the Simplify OpenTX series. Here we'll be looking at exponent rates on the um, OpenTX system. So I have to apologize in advance, um, I'm re-recording the audio for this because it picked up on the wrong microphone and it sounded awful, you couldn't really hear what was going on. So I'm going to be a bit behind on the video trying to sort of self-guess myself. Um, right, so here, if you remember in the last video, we set up uh, warnings for our switches, and this is just showing the arming warning working. If you want to know how to set those up, have a look in the first video in this series, and it will show you in there how to do it. It's really easy. But now if we press menu and then page, we can start going into the models. And what we're going to look at first is Expo. So I'm going to show you first what Expo does. Uh, and I'm going to use the graph in the inputs. Usually when setting up Expo, I'll do it on the mix page rather than the inputs page. But we'll get into the input, so we'll hold down enter and we'll press edit and that shows us the graph here. On the Expo at the moment we have a nice linear uh, line, so however much we move the stick it's going to be proportional in uh, each direction. So if we move it a little bit, it moves a little bit. But what we're going to do now is apply some Expo. And what you'll see is the line on the graph change. So it flattens out the center part of the, of the, um, of at the moment, the line, but it will turn it into a curve. And what that will do is give us more precision in the middle, um, of, of the, um, of the control throw. So what I'm going to do now is set up, um, this stick. So what you can see is the two numbers. In the top, uh, the top number is how much out it's actually outputting, and the bottom number is how much movement the stick's got. So what you can see here is um, I've set the expo to forty, um, and if I put the stick in, what you'll see is even though it's it's not very accurate, I'll move it in a minute but um, it's only getting 18, whereas before it was 36. But if you see the bottom right-hand corner number on the graph, it's only going to, to 30, where it was 36 before. So what I'll do now is I'll move it to about 36 on that position on the graph, and then we'll see how much it's actually outputting, which from off the top of my head was around 24. So yeah, we're at about 36 and it's about 24. So it's it's... Um, a lot more precise in the middle and of course you've still got all that movement in the actual uh, control stick itself so what that translates to is more precision in the middle part of the curve and as you go further to the outside it slowly speeds up how, mu how much the surface moves so you still get the full throws that you're after you just have a much more precise middle if you do it too much um, it, it you get a really badly controllable model, but just the right amount of Expo actually helps everything fly so much nicer. So that's that's the Expo. And what I'm going to do now is show how to add it um, in the mixer. So when I finish messing about, just I was just showing how much more precise it is in the middle compared to the outside. But what we'll do is we'll reset the Expo in the input back to zero. Um, so that when we do the changes in the mixer, it's not affected by this whatsoever. But what we're going to do is because usually when you add Expo, you add the same amount to the aileron, the elevator and the rudder. Sometimes you add more to the rudder, but for the most part, you add about the same amount. What we're going to do is set it up on a global variable. So that if we want to change it, we just change it in this one place and then it, it will update both or all four free control surfaces. Um, so what we do is we move along to global variables and we're going to choose to edit the first one. So what we're going to do is we click the enter button and then we'll upload, update that to about 35, which is a, you know, a fair expo number. Usually it's between 30 and 40, uh, unless you're on 3D planes when they have it higher. And then we'll give it a name um, of XPO for Expo. 
oh, again, just, just to recap, um, if you want to make a letter, a capital letter, you hold down the enter button. If it's already capital, if you hold down the enter button, it will go back to lowercase. So there we go. We've, we've created our global variable, giving it a name so we know what it is. And next, what we're going to do is go into our aileron, edit it. And what we're going to do is change the curve type. Now, we need to set this to Expo. Then what we do is press enter and move over to the zero, hold it down and we can access the global variables. So we choose our XPO. And then what you'll see in this screen is I actually did it wrong. So we're going to change that to Expo again. So click it, use the plus or minus buttons to get down to Expo. Enter and then hold enter down and then choose the Expo curve. Or, or it's not a curve, sorry, global variable. Now what we'll do is we'll come out and you can see I've switched on the receiver and you can see that the servos are moving. And in the middle, there's not a lot of movement, but on the outside, you get the full range. So that's that's our 35% or 35 Expo working. So now what we're going to look at is rates. I mean, it's traditionally called dual rates, but in a, with a three position switch, it would be triple rates. <laughs> but, you know, however many positions you've got, is how many <laughs> sets of rates you can have if you like. So what you can see here is with the full stick movement, the servo is moving so far. And what rates does is allow you to reduce how far the servo moves. So for example, if you've got, um, I don't know, let's, let's take the example of a fast model when you're flying slow, you might want a bit more movement for control, but as you, your speed builds up, you may want to reduce the rates so that you don't have such a, a big movement when you're traveling at faster speeds. Um, you know, same with potentially a, a high performance sports plane. You may only want a low movement for when you're doing stuff like taking off or landing or you know, just general flying, but then you want to flick a switch and get the full rates for you doing 3D or acrobatic maneuvers. So that's where rates come into it. So what we're going to do is go into the um, aileron and I'm going to hold down the enter button and then we'll choose edit. And then what we're going to do is go down to the switches and you, you to assign a switch is simple. You just click enter, move the switch, put it where you want it, and then click enter again and that's set. So we've set our switch for the full rates. So now what we need to do is copy um, that mix and we just drag it down one position so that it stays in the same channel. It's just an extra control on that channel. So again, we hold enter, edit, and then this time we're going to reduce the rate to say 70%, I think I did it. So there we go, 70. And now what we need to do is confirm that and then go down to the switch. Set that to the center position. Then we can come back out, make another copy. Um, again, we want to keep it in the same channel, edit it. And we're going to change this one down to 50%. And then we'll go down to the switch and we'll set that to the, the low position. So that's all three positions done. So now we have high rates, medium rates, and low rates. So we're currently on low rates, and you can see how much the servo moves while I'm keeping the, the stick in the same position. That's the rates allowing more or less throw through. So in high rates, you can see it's quite a lot of throw. Middle rates is less, and then low rates is even less. So that that's how you set rates up on your uh, OpenTX system. You would, of course, copy this down onto the elevator, um, but it gives you a lot more control just in case you want different amount of rate on different control surfaces. But that is how you set this up. It's pretty straightforward. So if you have found this video useful, then again, I'd love a, a like, if you want to subscribe so you um, get more information as soon as it arrives, that'd be great. The notification bell again for a small channel like mine, every single subscription and like really does help. So I really appreciate it, guys. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And like always, when we get out of this lockout, we'll lock down, get out there and fly it like you stole it, people. Have a great time and I'll see you all soon. Bye.